Thank you, Joes. Next fight. We have uh, Evans versus Morrell. Now, Evans comes in from the modern warrior background, which uh, <clears throat> everybody knows Keith Richardson trains there. He's the head instructor, but also trains with the alpha male. So you know he brings that kind of intensity back to his camp. So with Evans being in his camp, you know he comes back with that pro fighter mentality and that pro fighter game plan. <clears throat> he likes to grind it out. Uh, he's a real good wrestler and a pressure fighter. Uh, I really look forward to seeing how he is against uh, the Irving Moore, uh, Morrell. He comes from the top, um, excuse me, top martial arts and uh, dark side MMA. Now, <clears throat> Morrell comes in with great athletics, uh, great at pressuring his uh, opponents, but his gas. His gas is questionable. What do you think about this? You know, I've, I've done some rolling around with um some grappling with Irvin Morrell. The guy reminds me of Vincent Henderson. It looks exactly like Vincent Henderson. I, I call him smooth, right in the middle of rolling. He hits some very good techniques off, off of, off of uh, guard passes. So I would like to see where his, his gas really is. Because pressure, pressure back and forth, having someone in your face, face especially someone who trains with Keith, the rock star Richardson out of Modern Warrior and Team Alpha Male, that's the kind of pressure that you're not used to. So I would like to see if this goes into the third round, if this is going to affect Urban Morale's gas tank. Also, Urban Morale stepping up in a weight class and fighting. So let's see exactly where this 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 comes and who really has the testicular fortitude to go all three rounds if it goes that far to the fight. Evans. Yeah, Evans comes in with a, a really good wrestling from his camp. Uh, a great pressure fighter. Likes to grind it out. And uh, he's just recently promoted to uh, Greenbelt under the uh, modern warrior system. I'd love to see where these guys this goes all three rounds where the gas takes on with these guys. That was a nice kick by uh, uh, Urban Morale, who kind of looks like Benson Smooth Henderson. He's got a low, uh, put a little bit of I think he does it on purpose. I wonder if he has a toothpick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting kicked in the groin is a, man, it just sucks the wind right out of your body. Chin down. Hands up, chin down. All right, back to the action. Oh, good inside leg kick by uh, Evans. You know, these guys are of similar height. I would like to see Irvin use a little bit more forward pressure. He keeps switching that stance. That shows he's a little bit uncomfortable on his feet. Mm. Put your hands together. Work the jab. Yeah, style. Very similar to Vincent Henderson. You know, he needs to uh, put, put his combos together a little better. Oh, nice. As soon as I said that, I'd like to see him work a little bit more of uh, uh, popping up here and looking for the submission to work the sweep possibly. Hey, look like he's trying to hit a switch off this uh, takedown attempt. If he can get that outside leg free and get, uh, spin around and take the back of uh, Evans. It's a very good wrestler's, uh, wrestler's sweep here. He, he, he needs to, to definitely get underneath the hips as he's trying. But Evans is using that courage to his advantage. Take down the Amazon and ground and pound. You've seen him in his last two fights, but people have been working the ground and pound very good. Oh, it's a triumph of the house. It's a very nice triumph setup. Oh, nice triangle 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 setup. Oh, nice to, uh, Avery, uh, uh, Evans coming back to his feet. You know, Modern Warrior has a very good, tight, tight submission game with Keith the Rockstar Richardson over there. Uh, they, they definitely work a very good defensive game when it comes to stopping submissions. That's why Keith is so good. And I'm pretty sure it rubs off on his students. I'm absolutely, man. Any good coach, especially the rock star, man, he, he influences his students to uh, kind of absorb his own style and make it his. Speaking of that, Keith Rockstar Richardson has a fight coming up on Saturday night against Frank Carballo. Absolutely. It's a very tough fight for both of them. I'd love to see how that turns out. Yeah. Right now, we're at Fight Live 49 at Coyote Joe's in Charlotte with Irvin Morrell versus Avery Evans. As they got split up here, and here we go. Irvin's trying to recover a little bit. I think he's trying to set up the takedown. What do you think of Irvin, Nicole? Uh, he's trying to keep his head up because he was uh, in danger of a guillotine just a minute ago. He's keeping his head down. Good move by Evans holding the trip in the middle. 
came in the second round. Let me choose these guys would love with their knee kicks and elbows and head kicks and amateur. It's not allowed in the amateur. In the state of North Carolina, they, they like to wait for, the, for them to become pros. So yeah. I think it's a good rule. I don't think the average really needs to, you know, one, start throwing more punches and bunches, or two, close like this and get back to the ground. Over, let's go! Let's go! Wow. He needs to watch out for these big shots he likes to come out with. I'd like to see some distance by Urban here. Nice, good, good setup by Urban. Uh, with that overhand to the center setup. It's some of that BJ Penn stuff right there that he's got going on. Get John to hook, take the right hand. There you go. Oh, he's going to It's unfortunate to take a groin shot. I've learned over the years, you take a groin shot, sometimes you gotta work through that stuff. And, and I do it, and there's no guarantees in, in the sport, and taking a shot to the groin as is part of it. Makes you wonder why we're getting into this sport. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Nicole, yeah, you know, know. Know. I'm not an experience in this area, but I mean, if you get in a cage, you get punched in the face. I should think you just like, oh, yeah, by heaven. I don't mean to cut you off, but that was a very yeah. vicious uppercut to the face. Yeah. Evans is showing some really good timing on the, uh, the when uh, Morales is closing his distance. Looks like you're trying to keep that hand down there now. Right. Morales has uh, a very good control set up here and, and pushing in nice uppercuts. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's still recovering from that uppercut that Avery Evans hit him with. It's like he hit him with a mock truck. Nice, nice. Good set up. I wonder if maybe uh, Evans is going to be like a team. Yeah, Evans needs to get his head out of there. Knows that he go, 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 go. Looks like he was going for a yeah, nice, nice geo throw from there. Yeah, you see a slip by front leg instead of the back one. Good take down by Evan. Oh, man. Uh, and coming into this fight, we thought Morale had the better wrestling advantage, but it was a nice arm ball attempt from Evan Morale, but he, he abandoned it. Halfway through. Yeah. It's a very tricky situation for Evan. Over coming back up on top. This might not be good. Nah, uh, over trying to work for a leg lock, knee bar. Possibly switch off to some kind of ankle lock. You're the, you're the, you're the genius of knee bars and ankle lock. Hey. I've seen you throw them before. Yeah, knee bars and ankle locks are some of the most underused weapons in mixed martial arts. Everybody protects the head because they don't want to get knocked out. They protect the body because they don't want to get knocked out. They leave the legs alone because they protect everything else. I think that, uh, I don't think Mr. Urban Morale has a, a very nervous game when it comes to footlock. So he needs to work a little bit more on his footlock game. But it looks like right now, Avery Evans is going to take this round if we go to a third round because he has very good top control on Urban Morale. Push away, grab the feet. Push away, grab the feet. I'd love to see in this third round a little bit more distance from each fighter. 
I think they'll be able to secure round number two as he helps Evan Morrell up. Excellent sportsmanship between both sides right there. takedown of Evan Morale. Using that cage to his advantage and now he's trying to secure the submission but it allowed Evan Morale to secure the leg. Most people don't understand going for the submission from standing and get you trapped in the getting taken down. I agree again. I mean, one false move either way from either opponent and uh, it goes into the favor of the other. Right now it looks like Evan's trying to work in a uh, standing guillotine. You know, it's very hard to finish a guillotine on a, on a, a seasoned fighter. And, and, and I say seasoned fighter with uh, loose terminology when it comes to Evan Morale because he's two and two as an amateur. But he has a very vast knowledge training with some very good fighters at his previous gym and now at the dark side of MMA with, with uh, Rick Laney and Joe Pacheco. careful right here that Morales is getting him straightened out. It, it, it goes to show that maybe his gas might not have been all there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Evan's coming in with a nice knee on belly trying to keep his throat down. Evan's sitting back up for a possible sweep. He leaves his neck open for Avery. Just... Uh, uh, give up a They're in the middle of a scramble so you can't really see a lot of the positioning. So far, Avery is landing on top and then able to maintain that top position, which in the eyes of the judges scores points. And this is a bad position for Avery Morale. I think it is a minor triangle from what I see here. He taps. And I think Morale just tapped out. Avery Morale just tapped out. As he does. finished by Avery Evans. You go first. That was a very nice finish by Avery Evans at a Modern Warrior MMA. Avery Morales showed a lot of heart, but coming out of Modern Warrior, Avery Evans trains with Keith Richardson. I think Irving's got great potential, but you know he hasn't been training with his wrong, so hopefully for his next camp, after he's been training for a little longer, um, he can fare better. A lot goes to show in saying because you need to land there. I think he sits at the beginning of his amateur career and a lot is going to happen. I think his gas taken a lot in the third round. I, I see him give out a little bit right there at the end. Um, Avery Evans is not going to rise to finish the very good solution.
Mr. Avery Evans. Avery, do you finally feel vindicated with the win? How happy are you right now? Pretty happy. Pretty happy. After I go to the bathroom, I'll be pretty happy. So once you pee, then you can celebrate, basically is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, you know, you've been, you know, in the fight lab ring quite a few times. You face some really, really tough opponents. Yeah. What made you come back again? What made you come back every single time, get back in the gym and train? I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> That's, if you're from Columbia, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm not scared to get in here with any of these guys. None of them. So, not at one point did you break. You just felt determined just to keep on moving, right? Yeah. I want that gold Bugatti. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That works. So, tell us about the gym that you train out of and, and take a minute just to thank your training partners. Yeah, well, Mark right here <laughs> submits me all the time. I train at Modern Warrior MMA in Rock Hill inside of Big Wayne's. It's inside of Big Wayne's. Big Wayne is here he and is. he will beat you down. He will. Anytime. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I got. Sorry. I don't feel like I have to go anywhere. I got everything I need under one roof. Mm -hmm. I got the best training partners, best trainer period in the whole East Coast, in my opinion. I feel good. Have feel you ever choked out Chaz Bryant? I would say yes, but no. have you? Once, like two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. Yeah, he's hard. So Chaz, you know, whatever. But no, seriously though, you do train with some amazing people there at the gym. Yeah. Keith the Rockstar, Richardson. Yeah. You know, you've got another one of your teammates fighting tonight as well, Luke. Oh yeah, Luke, yeah. That's right, Luke's coming Forgot. up. Yeah. Coming up. He's about to do way better than I did. He is ready. What did you learn from your last fight that kind of helped you prepare for this one? Not to fight anybody in 205 anymore. Yeah. They're too big, too heavy, and I hate reaching for them. This is a brush of fresh air. It was no, it wasn't by any means easy, but it wasn't like a 205 fight at all. So 185 is where I'm gonna say. What helped you keep your cardio through every round? It looked like in the first round, you know, you almost had your guy. Yeah. You were pouncing on him. You were throwing some. I know. Nice, I didn't want to nice give everything I had guy. because he wouldn't. He wouldn't knock out. I almost cussed. Yeah. But yeah, he wouldn't knock out. So I got him in a triangle and I just started punching him right there. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. And you got the win. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we're happy for you and we can't wait to see you back in the fight lab ring. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Good luck.